royals. The English monarchy was invented in 774 for the purpose of keeping ye olde gossip media busy. But today there are so many more things the royals do than get beheaded. Like being the subject of baby rumours. For example, when royal hanger-on Andrew Morton thought that Will and Kate might have a baby sometime in the next few years, that became Royal Baby on Way. <gasps> and when a random person said, Kate called Will to tell him she was pregnant, and Will and Kate denied it, that became Will's and Kate twin shock. <gasps> but what's the truth? The only way to find out is to ask the two people who would know for sure these psychic twins. Well, we feel like there's a pregnancy probably next year, and we're seeing at least two children. At least two children. Uh, we're seeing a boy and a girl, and uh, possibly more, but we are seeing at least two born within the next few years. It's gonna be pretty. Yeah. And I'm seeing the reason why I never, ever watch Sunrise. Well, that evidence was dangerously thin, which leads us to the next thing royals do. Be dangerously thin. Some newspapers ask questions about Kate Middleton's weight whereas others deliver instruction. But TV requires more sober analysis from qualified nutritionists like Deborah Thomas. She's starting to look at that lollipop look, that big head on the very, very slim body. Mm. Well, if you look at the arms, um, Kate's arm looks very slim compared to Nicole. Instead of calling her weighty Katie, mm. now they're calling her wafy Katie. Deborah's even discovered a special kind of thinness that becomes more extreme overseas. She's slim, but she's even slimmer in the US. But fear not, because Deborah knows an amazing secret. Apparently, when she sits down to dinner, she does eat. You know, people say that they see her eating. Thank God, she eats! Well, if you thought that was a minor story, you are right. Next up is non-stories. Will even took on one of the kids in a game of foosball. That was a four-all draw, so that would have kept the crowd happy. And the royals generate loads of these. Hey, how about you read the stories and I'll show a picture of something equally important. Cool. The in-flight movie system failed on a plane that Will and Kate happened to be on. William's doing badly at the Benjaroop Hall footy tipping competition. Kate's dog swallowed her pearl earring, even though she doesn't actually have a dog. Now, you may have noticed many of these royal stories focus on William and Kate. But there is a far more important royal, the reigning monarch herself, Pippa Middleton. Whatever Pippa does, it's the biggest news ever reported. Pippa wearing sunglasses. Pippa standing next to a pigeon. Pippa incurring a parking fine. No wonder that was the number one most read story at the Herald Sun. Congratulations, readers. But then, tragedy struck. Out of the 50,000 odd photos taken of Pippa daily, one of them was unflattering. Okay, some of my grubby paparazzi friends across the pond say, yeah, Pippa could be crumbling under the strain. You know, she'd been looking a little puffy, not quite as kept up. I'm oh. not saying she's no longer a shining star. I'm just saying the star could be a little diminished. <laughs> and that reporter, Richard Reed, should know. He's puffy, not kept up, and diminished as all hell. OK, we've covered Kate, William and Pippa. But there is one more member of the royal family that outshines all others. Pippa's ass. Pippa's bum has definitely caused a stir in Australia. Her bottom is in perfect harmony with her, with the rest of her body. It's very perky. It's an ass so special it even has a life of its own. Pippa turns 28 and her rear has a party. And what a party it was, joined by all of its ass friends. And Richard Reed fit in perfectly. But it's not all positive. Just like the moon landing and September 11, Pippa's ass has been accused of being faked. There's photos of her in jeans just getting around and they're saying she's got quite a flat bum. But then when you see her in the wedding outfit, see here, when she's actually moving, it looks like it's a fuller tush. Good work, Ace. Once again, a number one most read story. And that's how to cover the royals. So while the Queen's in Australia this week, here's what you can expect to see. A Queen who's too thin expecting a baby, doing badly in the Benjaroon Hall footy tipping competition, and has a great ass, which sadly is fake.